This is my first time ever making sushi, like ever. How did I do? Here we go. Don't make fun of me because my chopstick usage. Okay. Ooh, I'm all nervous. This would be like, it, this would be the perfect date night too. This would be like the perfect way to flex on a date. Okay, I mean like the perfect way. They'd be like, did you order out? No, I made it, I made it myself. Wifey material or hubby material, I don't know. Whatever gets you laid. You guys, I wanna give a huge shout out to Opinion Outpost. They are gonna be sponsoring this video today at such a perfect time because there is so much going on in the world right now. So this is the perfect time to earn some extra cash. It's simple surveys that you can complete while literally doing anything. I always do mine right before bed. I don't know what you guys would do with that extra cash. I'm sure you could do a lot. I know that I'm gonna put it right back into this channel so I can create all of these amazing recipes for you guys. I am going to leave the link down in the description. And again, thank you so much Opinion Outpost post for sponsoring this video. We're gonna make the sushi rice. I'm gonna quickly explain this and then get into the details of this video. Um, so I'm gonna be taking some sushi rice, which is short grain rice, and I'm gonna be rinsing it until it runs clear. And then I'm gonna soak it for 15 minutes before I boil it. And you wanna be gentle when you're doing this process because um, you don't wanna release too much starch while washing it, cause then it'll take you forever to wash. And then I'm going to uh, I'm going to drain it and then put it in my pot with equal parts water. I've always done rice like this. This is my fail-proof way of doing it. Um, they say the most difficult part about sushi is the rice. I didn't want to stress myself out with that, so I just did what I normally do with rice, and it came out perfectly fine. I do a two to two ratio, and then I um, turn it on until it comes to a boil, and then I turn it on low. I put the lid on it for 20 minutes, and then after that, I pull it off the heat and let it sit for another 10 minutes. And then while that's going, I'm actually gonna make the sushi vinegar. I think it's the sushi rice vinegar for sushi rice, which is basically um, what I did was, what did I do? Sugar. I did sugar, rice vinegar, and salt. Everything will be down in the description. I have some parts of the rice that are hard where it was cooked at. What I should have did was take those out because it was very difficult to roll, but you live and learn. So what I'm gonna do is start to spread my vinegar over the rice, making sure everything is evenly coated, and then I'm gonna start cutting into the rice. I'm not gonna smush it. We don't wanna smush our rice. We don't want it to be um, smushed together and just mushy. We wanna basically cut into the rice with the rice wine vinegar so that everything is incorporated. Every piece of rice is incorporated. And then once that's done, I'm just gonna set that to a side while I prep everything else. I'm gonna jump into doing tuna. So I decided to go with, because these are some of my favorite rolls when I go out with, um, tuna, salmon. Obviously I like the California roll because who doesn't? I mean, it's the most basic of them all. And then um, shrimp tempura. I won't be showing the shrimp tempura because I did not actually like the method that I did. Um, but, there were a lot of things in this video. <laughs> there were a lot of things in this video, guys, that uh, I was very disappointed with, but um, I learned a lot. So for the next time, I know what I'm not going to be doing. 
So basically what I'm gonna be making is spicy tuna. So I'm gonna take the, this big chunk right here and I'm going to uh, basically chop it up and then mince it. And this is gonna be my for my spicy tuna mixture. Also, you guys, I would just want to point out that this is sushi grade tuna. I got this from a local place called Chula Seafood. So if you're in the Phoenix area, make sure to check it out. But I made sure that it was sushi grade so that I knew it was safe to eat. Just in case you guys want to recreate this, uh, make sure you have sushi grade tuna. So, you know, you ain't taking no chances and you're safe to eat it. And then I'm gonna take this smaller piece and I'm going to try my best to get thin slices, but my knife was so dull. Um, so when you're doing this, you definitely want a sharp knife, like a very, very sharp knife. I ran into more problems because my knife wasn't sharp versus anything else. So you guys are gonna watch me struggle through this, but we, we did it, you guys, we did it. So just make sure your knife is sharp. I'm trying to get very thin slices because these slices will be going on top of my sushi roll. Once I'm done with that, I'm gonna be repeating that process with the salmon. The salmon was much easier to cut. I have no clue why. It was less sticky, um, but it was just such a beautiful salmon. I'm Salmon, salmon. I don't know, what do you say? Do you say salmon or salmon? Leave me in the comments below. And then I'm gonna take the other piece of salmon and cut it to fit inside the sushi. And I'm gonna move on to the crab sticks. This was, these crab sticks were personally not my favorite, but I could not find the ones I was looking for, the brand I was looking for. Um, I will try to leave a comment below or a, I will try to leave in the description the brand that I think would be better But I just found this at the grocery store and it was fine. It did it served its purpose But as far as quality goes, it was okay um, I was planning on shredding it like one piece at a time, but they were just too stuck together and um, that just didn't work so I just I unraveled it I unrolled it and then I just cut it like matchstick style in the end it actually turned out fine because it's going in a sushi roll and the sushi roll is going to be cut it's not like you taste like these big chunks you know and then to this i'm going to be adding some cupai i think it's called cupai japanese mayo i am so in love with this stuff it is so good you guys um if you want more of that like authentic california roll taste i suggest getting this cupai I will have a link in the description um, for Amazon. I just found it at my local Asian market, so you could also try there. But I just mix that until it comes together, kind of like, you know, when you're mixing potato salad. You don't add too much, but just enough so that it comes together. And then I'm gonna make my spicy mayo real quick, which is the same mayonnaise. And then I'm going to add um, some sriracha. These aren't exact measurements, but I will try to get exact in the comments for you guys. Uh, remember, you can add less depending on how spicy you want it. And then I add a little ketchup for sweetness. I didn't wanna make this too complicated.
and I'm gonna pour that in my squeezy bottle. You guys know I love my squeezy bottles. And then I got this ill sauce because for two days straight, I was looking for ill sauce in my Asian markets, everywhere. But it turns out that a Chinese restaurant near me had some and they sold me some so it was perfect you can also make your own but like i said for the ingredients for the ill sauce i could not find at the asian market so i just got it at um the chinese restaurant next to me and then i also got this sweet chili and i'm gonna pour that in there i actually really like that sweet chili it's so good i should have made my own though So now I'm just gonna cut up my vegetables. Um, the vegetable prep on this was pretty simple. Uh, if you're gonna do this, I suggest kind of playing with it. Like, I mean, obviously if you're a beginner at this, like you should do it this way. Um, you should use the obvious characters like cucumber and avocado. But if you are a little more adventurous, I think that you could play with some other vegetables, maybe zucchini, bell peppers, maybe even some fruits as like kind of like a, a savory sweet kind of thing. And then I'm gonna cut this habanero because it's gonna go on my special, I'm gonna call it the Lizzie Lou roll. The two extravagant rolls I did were like the Lizzie rolls because they were super spicy and I loved it. I should put jalapeno in the roll too. And then I'm gonna be making the um, garnish for my Lizzie roll and it was a green onion so I'm just gonna show you guys quickly how you can make your green onion a garnish and a really cute way to... So basically what I do is I take green onion leaves and I slice them really thin and then, and then I put them in ice water for a little bit and then they curl up. Uh, so now I'm going to build my rolls. I got my sushi station all set up. Now this was probably the worst part of this all because you guys, it was a much bigger challenge than what I was thinking rolling these. Um, and, I, and I say this again, that the most problems I had was because my knife was dull. So cutting it, um, it made it very difficult to cut. So if I can stress one thing in this video is to please have a really sharp knife because if not, you'll just end up squishing your rolls and it'll just be very difficult to deal with. So I'm gonna be putting together the first roll, which is just the basic California roll. I didn't put avocado because I forgot if California roll had avocado, but if it does, make sure you put that in there. I got some sriracha sesame seeds and some black sesame seeds because I thought they'd be super cute. And for the most part, rolling the sushi was the funnest part. It was fun. It was just when I had to cut them, I nearly ruined like two or three rolls. Yeah, it was painful. Um, so just make sure you wipe your knife off every single time you cut and um, kind of like wet it a little bit too. If you don't have a very sharp knife, just kind of wet it before you cut. I mean, don't like have it drenched, but you know what I mean. Thank you. 
and then like I said I was just kind of playing with what I wanted in the rolls you guys i after I made the California roll I was just kind of doing what I wanted to put whatever I want in the roll I feel like a lot of it's mix and match it's gonna taste good regardless no matter what you do with it um, so definitely play around you know this is definitely something fun to do, especially like if it's a date night or something, this would be so cute. This would be such a cute date night. I didn't get my Lizzie roll when I actually rolled my roll, which I'm so, so sad about because that was my favorite one. I really wanted you guys to see that. But basically what I did for my Lizzie roll was I put the spicy tuna inside. Um, this is why I call it the Lizzie roll because there was spicy tuna inside. And then um, I topped it with salmon and habanero and sriracha and spicy mayo. And I just tried to make it like really spicy, but then I also put sweet chili on it, which is just, it came out so beautiful as a roll. And I'm so sad that I did not get to get it, me rolling it on camera. I had a, I just had a little small incident, small incident with my memory card. And you can obviously tell that I overstuffed a lot of these rolls, but to make up for it, what I did was I put a little, I should have showed this, I don't know why, I put wherever I overstuffed it at, I try to put like some rice right there so that it wasn't like spilling out. But come on guys, this was my first time, so take it easy on me. This was like, this was like my worst video to show but like my most favorite video that I've done I don't know how to explain it but I just it turned out so amazing great definitely my top top recipes you guys it was so so good I was just having a rough time I was having such a rough time you guys can tell throughout the whole video I'm just like I had to cut out like half the parts So yeah, just be careful not to overfill your rolls so you can avoid uh, the mess that I incurred. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm just gonna let this roll out.
Okay, so we are at the end and you can see that it all did come together, um, especially when I started to put it, put the toppings on, it just kind of came together and came out so beautiful. I definitely recommend doing this. I know that it was a struggle to show you guys, but I promise like it was so worth it. It was just so worth it in the end. They all truly, truly were such amazing rolls. Um, the only reason why I didn't show you the shrimp tempura roll is because the batter for the shrimp and the way I cut the shrimp was just horrid. So I just decided to leave that out. But there will be a part two to this, maybe, eventually, because I'm going to master sushi. I'm going to master it one day. And then I'm doing this wasabi and it's powdered and I just mix it with a little water and then it came to life. And if you guys are still here, leave me some sushi emojis in the comments. Yes, I've been waiting to say that one. Leave me some sushi emoji in the comments and I will see you guys in the mukbang part. By the way, ooh, my battery's on 5%. That's lovely. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can see from the title and this beautiful spread, I am doing sushi. Yes, finally, guys, I'm doing sushi. You guys were asking and begging for it in the comments, and uh, here it is. I'm super duper excited about this. This is my first time ever making sushi, like ever. How did I do? How did I do, you guys? It looks so good. I got my trusty tongs, I mean tongs. <laughs> I got my trusty chopsticks here, X XL, thanks to Stephanie Sue for her recommendation. Um, but yeah. Let's get into this. I have a caterpillar roll with shrimp tempura inside. Um, and then I had like my own concoction of a roll. So basically I did a spicy tuna and a cucumber. And then I topped it with salmon, habanero, sriracha, spicy mayo, green onion. I wanted it to be super spicy because you guys know I love my spice. And then back here, I just have, I don't know what kind of roll. We'll make it, it's like, it's like fresh tuna with the crab mixture, the crab slaw with an uh, with asparagus in it. I know, that's so weird. Um, and then I have a salmon roll with just salmon, cucumber, and avocado. And then I have a regular California roll with basically, you know, the spicy or the mayo mixture or the imitation crab mixture with the mayo and then avocado, I think, no with a cucumber in it. And then I got some wasabi and some ginger, some pickled ginger that I had left over from the Bee Love. I'm like waving my hands. I'm just like, oh. Okay. I'm going to try this roll first. Oh, and then I drizzled some um, sweet chili on it. So here we go. Don't make fun of me because my chopstick usage. Okay. Ooh, I'm all nervous. I am so proud of myself. You guys, I really didn't think that these were <laughs> gonna turn out. I don't know why. Here, let's try this. Oh gosh. Let's try this caterpillar roll. Oh, sh oh okay. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa. All right. It basically fell apart, but. God damn it. That was fell. It's because I don't know how to pick this up. Okay. Let me get the shrimp that fell out. Mm. That is so good. I'll come back to it, I promise. Okay. Then I'm just gonna do this roll with salmon in it. Mmm, mmm. Okay. 
I'm gonna try this one with the with the fresh tuna. Look, can I just say, do you guys see how fresh this salmon and this tuna is? I had to stop and get a video of that for Instagram real quick, you guys. I had to stop. Because I was like, it's going to be gone. Okay, what did I not try yet? Oh, and I got a little wasabi here. I love, love, love wasabi. I don't know how you guys feel about wasabi, but I absolutely love it. And then I'm going to take some ginger. And I love ginger. Oh, I got to get some soy sauce. I almost left out the damn soy sauce. All right, and actually you guys, I like to put some ginger into the actual um, soy sauce, but okay. Dude, I'm so excited about this. I'm trying, I'll try to bring it up to you guys. Oh! <laughs> oh, it landed in a bowl. It landed in a bowl. Saved by the bowl. All right, let's eat it. Stop playing around. That wasabi ain't no joke. Okay. It's like I kind of want to use my hands because I don't want to um, keep dropping this because I know I will. Here is my custom roll. I have habanero on there. The habanero did not come to play with me. Okay, let's try this one again. Cause this one was actually, oh my gosh, look at that. Sorry if I'm shaking you guys, I'm like so scared to drop it. I got all of this, if you live in the Phoenix area, I got all of this from, well, not all of this. I got all of the salmon, the tuna, and the shrimp from a place called Chula Seafood. So if you're in the Phoenix area and you want some fresh, cause this right here, this salmon, this tuna is sushi grade. So it's perfectly safe to eat <clears throat> raw and uh, which is perfect. And it's super fresh. Like this is so fresh, no fishiness, perfect. It's just, oh, it's beautiful. So beautiful, you guys. Oh wait, that one's way too big, that wasabi did not come to play. <laughs> Woo! Oh, that wasabi is, it's not that it's spicy, it's just like getting in my, <clears throat> you, you know if you've ever had wasabi, it clears your nostrils or clears your sinuses right out. Um, I was looking for fresh wasabi, but I could not find it, so. I just got that version, which I'm pretty sure that's what restaurants do. They just use powder. I really like this roll. This one's really good. I really like all of them. I really like all of them. I'm like so, I'm so proud of myself, you guys.
after I made that roll, I was just like, okay, we just gonna, we just gonna start making our own. <laughs> we just gonna do whatever we want now. Guys, I wish I can tell you I had, I had a lot of fun making this, but I did not. I was like all over the place. But when it comes together, you're just like, yes, I did it. Okay, let's just, okay, not, let's not judge. Is it a sin if I do it with my hands? Don't think so. Mm, mm. I can't really see. <laughs> I can't see. So what do you guys think? What do you guys think? I'm struggling so hard with these damn tongs. I wanted to be cool and get the extra long tongs like Stephanie Sue. Top six. Oh. I don't know why I keep calling them tongs. Chopsticks. We did it, guys. Me, well, me and you, we did it. And like right at the end, right at the end, I put my avocados in the freezer for some odd reason. I was gonna put them in there for a second and take them out and then I forgot they were in the freezer. So somebody had to go to the store for me, grab some avocados right in the middle of filming this. <clears throat> Y'all, it was a disaster. It was a disaster. I wanna eat this one, but, th th <laughs> but this one just keeps falling apart and it's so pretty and I don't wanna like have it fall apart on camera. We'll bring that one back here without the avocado. Actually, no, let's put the avocado on there. It needs, it needs the avocado. There, we got it, we got this. It's a heavy one, that's probably why I'm sure. Nope. Going in with the hands, going in with the hands, y'all. Mm. Y'all, this was super crazy to make, but in the end it turned out so perfect. So I hope you guys give this a try. At least give one of them a try. It was it was really easy. Um actually while I'm sitting there cooking, I'm just like, is this it? <laughs> is this all? I got more stuff to do. Um, anyway, I am so, so full already. I know, I know what you're thinking, like what? But I did, I ate, I ate a decent amount, I feel like. Um, why, can somebody tell me why my tongs do that? Why they, why they go like that? I don't know. Chopsticks. I mean tongs, I mean chopsticks. <laughs> why do I keep calling them tongs? <laughs> oh my gosh. I want to say this definitely was a success though. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That was so good, you guys. We really outdid ourselves this time. I'm super excited about this one. This would be like, it, this would be the perfect date night too. This would be like the perfect way to flex on a date. Okay, I mean like the perfect way. They'd be like, did you order out? No, I made it, I made it myself. Wifey material or hubby material, I don't know. Whatever gets you laid, right? So anyway, um, 
<laughs> with that being said, I'm gonna wrap it up here. You guys know I wish I could sit here and eat this with you guys, but you know I'm full. I'm running around behind the camera. Um, but I hope you guys try this. I love it so freaking much. It's so, so delicious. Put hashtag Lizzie Lou versus sushi. Cause uh, Lizzie won here today. Okay, I'm doing too much. I'm doing, I'm doing too much y'all. I'm doing too much. All right guys. I'm not very good with chopsticks. You know, the Japanese do it with their hands anyway, so. <laughs> mm hmm. Oh no, oh no. You're so cringe. Ooh, that tune is beautiful. Absolutely, right? That is fresh fish. Let's try these jumbo sticks again. Oh no. Ah! <laughs> Maybe I should have a mukbang channel where I just eat, where I just eat her food. She cooks, he eats. Mmm. Fresh fish. Oh shoot. Mm-hmm. That one's amazing. I can't do it with the habanero though. No, thank you. No siree, Bob. Huh? This one with the tuna on top is amazing too. It's like crab, avocado, cucumber, rice, nori, and ahi tuna on top. Sheesh. Drop a comment if you think I should have a mukbang channel just eating Lizzie's food. I'm out.